Hello and welcome to my first uh, let's play. Um, I decided to start with Machinarium because, well, it's a game that I enjoyed a lot. Uh, it's probably one of the few point-and-click adventures that I was actually able to finish um, more or less on my own. And it's also a relatively short game, so I initially wanted to do uh, a let's play of uh, you know one of the classic old games that I enjoyed, uh, the Fallout 2 or or you know a hardcore RPG or something like that. And then I realized that this the amount of time required to do that is insane. So. Um, if you haven't played this yet, I really recommend that you check it out. It is available on Steam for a fairly reasonable price, I believe. Uh, also, this is going to be a let's play. It's not a walkthrough. I have finished a game, which doesn't necessarily mean I know how to do everything or that I will remember the solution to every puzzle or wow, that's pretty. Um, Right, so, you know, this is just me playing a game at a rather, you know, just a natural pace and, uh, rambling on about it. If you're into that sort of thing, then welcome. If not, then, well, you know. Ah, there we go, you're just supposed to click that until you get your head and pop back onto your body. You can click interact only with objects and characters which are within reach of the robot. So, okay. Ah. I'm missing my arm and my right leg. I see. I'm missing my toy mouse. All right. So you can extend yourself. Just click and drag. that and you can collect some items for later use here is your inventory okay let's give it to the mouse where is it hey come back <clears throat> there you go there you go okay it is possible to get hints uh, in each level, however, you do have to um, play a certain mini game, a side scrolling shooter of sorts, uh, in order to unlock the hint for the particular level or puzzle that you are struggling with. I'm going to turn the volume down just a little bit. some sort of fishing line. <clears throat> Do you notice this guy right here in the foreground, I suppose? Looks almost like a larger version of our main character. Well, okay. Uh, that goes down there. And ta-da, that is our left arm. Now we are fully functional, more or less. Okay, and we walk over here. And we keep going and going all the way to this big city over here. Puzzles in this game aren't really very clever. I mean, some of them really are. Uh, it's just that they are puzzles. They're not necessarily integrated, you know, always integrated in the story, or uh, it's just, you know, it's like you walk up to a panel, panel, you know, very old school, mm -hmm. mist style, and then you have to solve a puzzle. You have to 
figure out the, the order in which to press certain buttons or match colors or things like that. So if there's one complaint I have about the game is that there are too many puzzles which seem to be just not, you know, integrated or just, you know, they're just there because you're supposed to solve a puzzle to progress. So. Anyway, however, this particular part is not like that. This is kind of neat. So you probably noticed what happened. Um, if I extend myself and I try to pull this, mm -hmm. Kai will come out. Yeah. Because they don't allow short black robot. Okay, that's racist. I don't know. Uh, so basically, robots like me aren't allowed to cross the bridge. So what I have to do is this. Oops. Oh. Grab my hat. Dip it in the white paint. Okay. Let's, uh, let's get first step. Now there are more cones, and if I throw all of them away, I will find. Wow, that's some lag right there. I will find a can of blue paint. Now, what do you think we should do with this? Pour it in here? Maybe. Okay, pour the blue paint in there. And take our hat. Put it in there. And now we look like we belong. More or less. There are some details are still missing. So we can walk up. A little bit more. Take that. Stick it in there. Keep walking up. Grab the one below us. Just one more. Almost there. There we go. One more. Is it possible to go one more up? Yep. Yep, one more. Can we reach it? No, we can't. However... There we go. And he falls down. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Now... Uh-huh. Let's see what he has to say this time. Very well. Okay, so we have solved our first puzzle of the game, our first couple of puzzles, and I will see you guys again in part two. Thank you for watching.